Welcome back. Figured I'd do something a little different today. Still got a lot of snow, a lot of ice on the ground everywhere. But I figured I'd sit outside, burn some wood that I needed to get rid of, uh, and some other stuff, and uh, shoot a video. So that is fireplace smoke, or fire pit smoke, and not uh, vapor, obviously. Uh, hopefully the audio comes out good and everybody can hear, hear this. Uh, it's been really slow lately. There hasn't been a lot to review. Um, China was closed for like two weeks for their Chinese New Year, like they do every year. And in case you don't know, a little bit of backstory on that, even though that ended about two weeks ago, um, my understanding, the way it works in China, is it's very common. Basically, factories kind of like, almost have like apartments next to them a lot of times, and they put up the employees in there. You get free, you know, boarding and stuff like that. that that's my understanding. Um, and what happens is every time is the Chinese New Year and they're closed for two weeks, so many of the people go back to different provinces, different areas of China where their family and extended family live, and it's like 25% of them don't return. Um, they just made enough money to live for another year or two with their family or whatever, and they don't come back. So every time uh, Chinese New Year is over, they have a lot of hiring and training to do, and it takes quite a while from the ramp back up production and um, get back to uh, uh, shipping products and stuff like that. So smaller reviewers like me, uh, things are slow after the Chinese New Year until things start flowing back out. So there hasn't been a whole lot to review. I have a bunch of things coming in. Um, I know there's, um, uh, who makes that? Uh, there's a new RTA coming out. Um, oh man, I forget the names. I'm bad with names. I've said that before. Uh, I know I got the Orion Q, which has been out a while, but I got that coming in and a few other things. Um, I figured today I'd just do this and review two juices that I didn't review previously when I did this uh, for Pod Juice. And I'll put the link on the screen and a coupon code uh, on there. Um, this was their Loops and their Apple. And I know you can't see it. It's kind of far away. But um, I was... I was so I left those two because normally Fruit Loops and Apple are not my favorite vapes. I normally don't enjoy them. So I had a couple extra pods for this Hava One pod. Um, I'll put a link on there for if you want to watch a review for that. And I figured, let me throw them in there. And I got to admit, I was very pleasantly surprised. I really do like these. And uh, I'll take a sip of my coffee because it's cold and dry out here. Um, so, I, you know, I didn't review them before because they weren't my favorite favorite flavors out of the five they sent in, but these are really good. I think, which one I got in here right now? I think this is the Loops Pod. Let me take the vape on this one. This Hava One Pod is metal. And I gotta tell you, out here, it's cold. There's still snow on much of the ground out here and ice. Everything is still frozen. Um, I'll throw a picture up there. You can see what my driveway looked like two days ago. All right, uh, Really cold, really icy. It's, it's like 30 degrees out today Fahrenheit but um, with all the snow around here it feels a lot colder so anyway this thing's really cold and that's the loops which is obviously a, a fruit loop uh, type cereal vape and I, it's really good I don't like cereal vapes um, in direct lung this is too much cereal flavor this has a lot of flavor but because it's in a pod it kind of dissipates quickly it doesn't linger a lot so you're just getting uh, you know, your nicotine and your and that flavor, and I'm getting smoke blown in my face, and my wife's not going to let me back in the house because my clothes are going to smell like smoke from the fire pit, but that's, that's what happens. And this is really nice, this Loops. I really do like it, and I was surprised uh, when I tried this earlier. Um, it's just, you, it's, it's clean, Fruit Loop flavor, it's, it's accurate, it's good, and in the pod, like I said, you vape on it, you're not filling the whole room with the, with the, the smell of Fruit Loops, which I don't enjoy, um, but you're getting it in the, you know, in the taste, and it dissipates quickly when you're done, because it's a pod, um, and it's just really, really nice. I really like it. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't review those two when I did the others. And I'm also glad because now I got to enjoy these two. So I'm going to pop this out. And the nice thing about this hopper pod is you pop open the door. I haven't used this pod in a while. And I figured, oh, I got a bunch of extra coils for it. If I'm going to put flavors in it that I might not like, let me put them in these pods. Because if I throw them out, I don't care. But I really like them, and I'm going to keep vaping on them. So this is the Apple, which, again, I was very pleasantly surprised with. I don't normally like Apple vapes. But in the pod, it's really good. It's, you know, it's not overwhelming apple, but it's a clean, crisp apple. I'm going to say, I have a red apple on, on, on the picture there, but to me it tastes like a green apple. 
tastes like a green apple to me, but I really do like it, and I was very pleasantly surprised with both of these. Um, I'm not going to use the G word, but we're going to give away two of these. I used it in three words, so it's maybe Google won't uh, pick it up. Um, these are 55 milligrams each. Comment below. Um, you know, uh, let's just put pod juice, right? You can comment if you want to comment on other things, but put the word pod juice as the first word in your comment if you are interested in the Nick salts. Obviously, if you, if you don't vape Nick salts or you don't have someone to give them to, um, you know, don't enter the giveaway. Uh, let someone who can use it get them. Um, so just put uh, pod juice as the first word and then whatever you want to comment. Anybody who puts pod juice will be entered in the giveaway. We'll do that in about a week and uh, continental U.S. only because, um, you know, it is just a couple little things of juice. It's not worth shipping internationally. Uh, the cost on that. I don't think anybody wants to pay, you know, $20, $30 to ship a couple of bottles of juice. Um, but they're really good. Like I said, I'll put the link on the screen uh, for, for Pod Juice. I think it was podjuice55.com, if I remember. Um, they do have lower nicotines. I think it also comes in a 30 or a 35, which is usually what I prefer. These are 55. Um, but they're just really good juices. So I figured let's do that on this video and uh, make it a little more interesting. Um, I'm hoping this fire gets a little bit bigger soon so it starts uh, warming up out here because, like I said, it is cold and it is very smoky, and I'm sure you're probably hearing the popping sound, which is always nice and relaxing. And I am very much looking forward to springtime, uh, and not the spring cleaning necessarily. That's getting smoky in front of the camera, isn't it? Uh, not necessarily all the spring cleaning and, and work that I have to do um, out here, but we did put in a pool for the kids because they kept bugging me and bugging me and bugging me. I put in a pool at the end of uh, the fall, uh, just because, of course, it's cheaper, you know, to get it at the end of the fall when the pool companies don't have a lot of business, um, save some money on that. And uh, but we didn't get to use it at all, you know, so it's covered and sealed, and you know, it's got you know probably a foot of ice on top of it right now. Uh, but that'll be nice in the springtime, and I think I'll maybe uh, put up more videos. You know, I like watching so many channels that not so many, but a lot of channels that are just people doing things, whether it's construction or, or um, there's this one guy, I'll put, I'll put a link in the description. He has great videos. Um, he's just doing, you know, construction work, whether it's uh, putting in drainage ditches or, or moving trees with all this big heavy equipment. I just like watching those things. So uh, if people like that and you like, like these kind of videos that are outdoor and maybe do more outdoor reviews, I'll try and incorporate reviews into other things. Uh, you know, just to make it a little more interesting because, you know, after a while you get a little burnt out, to be honest, um, and just sitting in front of a desk shooting a video on a new device or a new tank or a new juice or something else. So try to make them a little more interesting. Um, and that's it. And I hear the birds in the background. This I have over here, we have a lot of bird houses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bird houses over there. My wife's into that stuff. Um, and we put out hummingbird feeders and everything in the spring. So I hear a lot of the birds and they're starting to go in the houses. So even though it's still only the end of February and it's still cold and it's still supposed to snow in two days, um, they seem to be coming back. So I'll try and do some more outdoor videos. Um, I think people have liked them in the past and try and do reviews outdoors in different situations just to make it more interesting. Uh, obviously up close stuff, still got to shoot up close inside and then uh, just add the actual uh, you know, uh, FaceTime review of the product and I'll try and do a lot more outdoor stuff. So that's about it. I really can't think of anything else to talk about other than um, uh, I have about, about half a dozen things that I purchased um, coming in in the next few days just because, like I said, things have been slow and um, so I wanted to just get some new stuff in, stuff that wasn't sent in to me that I was interested in um, and honestly, quite a few of them, I think three of them are pods um, but, you know, pods are very popular right now. Uh, you know, I still do a lot of direct lung vaping but that's more of a summertime thing when it's, uh, for me anyway lately, because instead of filling up my uh, office uh, with uh, vapor, uh, it's nice to sit outside and blow clouds, I think. And uh, during, when driving in the car, I like pods because I don't even have to open the window. You can just vape in the car without, you know, blowing clouds out the window. And um, yeah, so there you go. I'm gonna try and get this fire going a little bit more and uh, maybe I'll put a little video in that if I can get it a little higher, because it looks like it's dying. The wood I had was wood that was sitting outside in the snow and the rain and stuff, so it's a little wet. That's why it's poppy and making a lot of noise and a lot of smoke and not making a lot of fire. I was hoping right here there'd be a nice big flame between me and the camera uh, just to make it a little more interesting, but it doesn't seem to want to do that, of course. It doesn't want to cooperate with me. So there you go. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, enter for these uh, pod juice loops and uh, juicy apple. And they're both 30 mil bottles, 55 milligram, which I think I said. And sorry if that was loud because I have another microphone recording over here in case that one doesn't pick it up very good. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.